everyone and welcome back to biology. Today we are getting started with our very next lesson. Our first lesson in unit 3 which is evolution. Lesson number 13, natural selection. Natural selection. Now maybe you have not heard that term before but there is another term that is more commonly used that maybe you have heard either in a movie, in a series, in a show, I don't know, a book. I know I have, so I know this term is better well known. The term is survival of the fittest. And what does that mean? It means just that. The fittest are the ones to survive. Now, why is that? The fittest are more likely to survive being that, for example, we have three fishes. They're all fishes, they all live underwater, they all need to eat and breathe. Let's say these are the very last three fishes on earth. Well, not on earth, in the pond, okay? They don't have any more food and they're left in a situation like this. Our very tiny fish, can't really do anything for itself. It'll get eaten by the fish that is slightly bigger than that. And then, it's them two. Of course, the bigger fish is the one that's gonna eat the medium fish. And this is gonna happen because it has the advantage that it's bigger, it's stronger, it has a wider mouth, it's able to do it. It's capable of doing it. It's more fit to do that to eat it. So it is more fit in a way, but it's just what that means is that the species that is better adapted is the one that is most likely to survive. Now keep in mind, I just said adapted. Let's find out what that means. Adaptation. Adaptation is the process by which a species becomes better suited to a change in the environment. If you need to pause the video to make sure you have this down, please go ahead and do so now. Now, adaptation is of great importance and it is a big part of evolution. Now, adaptation can be something that any species can do and in reality must do in order to survive. Remember, survival of the fittest. It has to do a lot with the capability that a certain species has to adapt to its environment. And as we know, our environment is ever changing. It's always changing, whether it's one thing or another. Climate change, um, different species, evolving, becoming better, so on and so forth. So, with that being said, have you ever heard of the movie, it's a Disney movie, I think, it is The Cruise. Now, this movie is about a cave family, caveman family, that lives in a cave, of course, and they're very, well, the father of the family is extremely afraid of change, of being outside. His instinct is just survive any way you can, and the best way to survive is staying indoors. Okay? That is his mentality. Now, in this movie, we have the father, the mother, three siblings, and a grandmother. The siblings are an older daughter, a son, and a younger daughter. The family comes across a young man, which is around the oldest daughter's age, coincidentally. Um, um, the young man is running away of what he calls the end of the world, which is where the environment is changing, the earth is changing. There are earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and all this is happening and changing. It destroys this family's 
cave, which they were able to survive because they were not inside at the moment it happened. But the father is so troubled because he needs to get his family to safety. And for him, being in safety and being able to survive comes with staying inside, keeping safe. Now this young man is trying to teach this family how to, the, that the way to survive is not to stay inside and keep safe. It is to adapt to new situations. And during the movie, during their travel, because they're traveling throughout the movie, they're trying to find a safe place uh, that is set on looking for a cave. Uh, but um, he finds himself going through so many different obstacles that he is forced to adapt himself to in order to be able to survive and take his family to safety. So that's just an example that uh, I saw in that movie. Um, for your assignment today, I want you to take a picture of your notes and include that in an email as well as I want you I have a great time. I want you to take a picture of your notes and two I want you to give an example of a form of adaptation. Okay? I'll give you one right now. For example, cats have adapted through time. Back then when most cats or most all cats were, were um, wild. They had very long claws, very sharp teeth. They needed these things to be able to uh, fight off predators and all that stuff and to survive. Now you see that cats are more like pets. Um, I'm allergic to cats, so I'm already thinking I don't have a cat. Um, anyways. Cats are now pets. They live indoors. Their nails aren't as sharp as they used to be back then. Um, their teeth aren't as sharp as they used to be back then. Um, their fur, it's fluffier. It's softer. Um, back then, I'm pretty sure it was more coarse and not soft. So, that's just an example. Cats used to be a lot more rough looking than they do now. So think of an example like that, a change that has happened with a long period of time. And if you have any questions or you need any help with uh, that, uh, don't hesitate and ask me. I'm here to help you guys. I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon. And I hope you all have a very wonderful day.